Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A quiet morning for the most part where traffic is concerned. Things are much quieter than what we saw about 24 hours ago, so looking a lot better out there. But until we get through about the next hour or so, again, we're on at about 8 o'clock early Thursday morning. There is still the possibility of some freezing fog in the Mid-South area, and we'll continue to see, again, some sunny skies out there for the later on today and some southerly winds, so we'll look for some mild or temperatures across the area as we get into the rest of the next couple of days, but a slow process to warm up before our next storm system arrives getting into this weekend, bringing us the chance of some scattered light showers across the area, but not much more than that. Add to that, if you have not seen the extended forecast recently, some big changes in the temperatures and not an Arctic plunge, more of some very mild temperatures heading upwards on the numbers into the course of the next several days. So if you have plans, again, going through the holidays around Hanukkah, this Sunday and into Christmas next week. Some pretty atypical weather for the Mid-South, but not anything that's going to be causing major problems for travelers or for just getting outside and grabbing a breath of fresh air, looking again some pretty quiet conditions in the Mid-South into the next couple of days. But we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. If you've never been here before, welcome to the program. This is our online video weather blog helping you to understand what's going on with weather out there. Forecast in the blue bar scrolling by at the bottom of your screen or go to WREG.com to find out more about what's going on with your complete weather forecast. Again, we cover the Mid-South area for those not familiar with Northern Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas with Memphis right smack dab in the middle right there. And again, you can find out more at WREG.com slash weather. Quick peak of the forecast through the rest of the morning. Numbers heading back again into the mid-40s by lunchtime. Lower 50s early this afternoon and only briefly for high temperatures into the rest of today. And again, a little warmer over the next few days, but it's going to take a while again for that warmer air to kick on through. Temperatures decently below normal yesterday. 45 degrees, our official high in Memphis. 51 the average. 26 our low temperature yesterday. Combine that with some of the fog and the moisture settling on the roadway surfaces. That explained why we had the pileups and the delays and the road closures that we had in the Mid-South yesterday. So once again, seeing some pretty chilly conditions as we get into the rest of the forecast for the next couple of days. Again, not doing too bad on the numbers out there. Nothing in the way of rainfall. And over the next couple of days, if we don't get too much in the way of rain, we should finish up the year somewhere over 70 inches of rainfall, which is 20 inches above normal for this time of the year. Back in the lower to mid-20s on the Ole Miss campus this morning at the airport in Oxford. Plenty of sunshine back toward the track and field facility, but not too many people out for a jog or a stroll. Mostly blue skies, some haze down toward the horizon from Squawk 1111. Weather underground web camera in Olive Branch, Mississippi, 28 degrees. Chilly temperatures below freezing, high humidity, relatively calm winds. Again, that's a very good recipe for fog across the Mid-South. Blue skies, a little haze off in the distance beyond the tree from Ranger 2015's webcam in Senatobia, Mississippi. And blue skies, a little bit clearer conditions around the area of Rhodes College in central Memphis. We're seeing, again, some decent conditions here for visibility, but still pretty chilly in central Memphis. Numbers back in the mid to upper 20s. Here's some of that haze we're talking about. Again, looking back toward the airport at this point in time, looking at that Area of fog, it's not totally socking in the Mid-South visibility conditions, so we do not have a dense fog advisory. But as long as we have these temperatures out here, some of that fog could sell, settle on some of the overpasses and bridges. Slick spots are still going to be possible through about the next hour or so. Fortunately, the partly cloudy, mostly sunny, hazy conditions out there are not causing any slowdowns at Memphis International Airport or, for that matter, throughout the rest of the continental United States. Not seeing any problems right now for air travelers. If anything happens later this morning, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on the social media pages, and we'll keep you updated on that. Looking toward Poplar and Ridgeway from our Hilton East Memphis camera, again, that haze and light fog settling in across much of the area, and that, again, is going to cause possibility of some slick spots out there with the temperatures the way that they are. Right past 8 o'clock in the morning, not doing too bad on the fog conditions. Again, this was never a dense fog situation, but combine this with some of the temperatures out there, and that's where we're seeing the problems in the Mid-South area for early this morning. So the lowest visibility we have for right now, back up around northeast Arkansas, about 3.7 miles, and that's been pretty typical throughout the entire morning out there for right now. Welcome to everybody who's checking in for this morning. 
uh, weather report from Royce Waits from Tate County, 25 degrees there. Welcome to everybody else uh, checking in across the Mid-South. Got any weather reports? Uh, drop your location and whatever you've got, temperature, wind speed, cloud cover, drop those into the comments section. We'll read some of those off as we go throughout the next couple of hours here as we, again, post more of that information a little bit later. One storm system over the northern Plain states. This one's swinging over to the Great Lakes and another one off the west coast. This one also does not look to be a specific problem for us. Our next storm system is over the west coast of Texas around Baja and that's going to be making its way over and across portions of Mexico and eventually heading toward the Gulf. But as of right now, the good news is, again, for us, chances of rain are pretty limited. And that area of high pressure taking that wind offshore, pushing it off into the Gulf of Mexico, is cutting off the Gulf from sending any moisture northward. Now, over the next couple of days, that will reverse itself. And then we see the chances of showers coming on through but not much expected before then at this point in time. Courtney Bostic, Norfolk, hope I'm saying that right, Halls, Tennessee, 37 degrees. Donna Marie Sexton, Orsburn from Oxford, 27 and sunny. Thank you very much for that one at this point and everybody else who's joining us as well. Here in the Mid-South directly, nothing showing up in the way of precipitation. Did detect a little bit of moisture. Matter of fact, you can see a couple of echoes showing up here, but that's just moisture hanging in the atmosphere. That's not anything actually precipitating down toward the ground, so decently dry and quiet there. Here's the big problem this morning, that moisture in the form of fog mixed with temperatures like this settling on roadway surfaces, again, like bridges or overpasses, which don't have anything supporting it. Those structures will freeze first than anything that's supported by the soil or anything else out there that helps to warm things up by just a bit. So bridges and overpasses for about the next hour until the temperatures at least get decently above freezing. Watch out for those slick spots out across the Mid-South area into the rest of the morning hours. Temperatures again through lunchtime, not exactly ideal for a nosh on the patio as we'll be back in the lower to mid 40s. And then high temperatures this afternoon, right about the time the kids get out of school, back in the mid to upper 40s and a couple of lower 50s possible, but that's as warm as it gets throughout the rest of the day. Dinner time, post sunset, temperatures drop off into the 30s and 40s, heading toward News Channel 3 at 10, mid to upper 30s possible. And into tomorrow, again, another frosty situation possible with temperatures tomorrow morning early in the upper 20s to around the lower 30s. And that also is where we start to see our cloud cover making its way in from the west. So we may start off with a sunny sky, but it's a good bet by the end of Friday, We'll be looking for mostly cloudy skies coming our direction. So for today, lots of sunshine. Open up those blinds and the drapes and get the free solar heating going on. And again, sunshine galore today, but not much warmer than temperatures back into around the lower 50s or so. Starting off mostly clear, but going toward mostly cloudy as we head toward Friday. Chances of showers make their way into the forecast as we head into Saturday, which will mark the last day of the season as we head into the last day of autumn. Temperatures again, pretty much where they have been for the last couple of days, lower 50s. Sunset again as we go into Saturday. That'll mark the beginning of the longest night of the year. The winter solstice arrives at 11.21 p.m. on Saturday. First full day of winter and the first day of Hanukkah. Temperatures actually warm up a little bit with the southerly winds continuing out there. We also will see some scattered showers across the Mid-South into the course of the next couple of days. The temperatures as we head through and across Christmas, very much on the mild side. We're going to be getting some very nice temperatures out there. Our chances of a white Christmas, for those of you wishing and hoping and praying for something like that, were never great to begin with. Uh, again, less than 10% chance of us statistically ever getting anything like that here in this area of the country. If you'd like to see the odds on what it looks like from the National Weather Service. All you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather, scroll down beneath the forecast, and we've got the link to tell you just how good our chances of a white Christmas actually are in this part of the country. And just telling you right now, it's, it's not huge, unfortunately. So for the holidays coming up into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, beautiful, balmy, actually, not bad for this time of the year. So chilly for right now, that's true. But into the next few days, we've got numbers going back into the lower 60s. Aiming toward the last weekend, 
of 2019, remaining very mild, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, and then also chances of rain starting to show up as we go towards Saturday. Looking ahead toward New Year's Eve, past this forecast, again, dropping off on the temperatures by just a little bit. Again, doesn't look like winter weather, nor does it look like severe weather, so hopefully all the way throughout the holidays and into around the last part of the year, we'll stay quiet. Not much of any sign of winter heading our way, and fortunately, nothing showing up in the way of severe weather either. So some very good news on that as we get into the course of the next few days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on what's going on with all of that out there. Thanks to our News Channel 3 viewers for some great views around the Mid-South. Pamela Gurley Edmondson, nice view from back in November of some storm clouds passing through the downtown metro area. Thank you very much for that one. Edith Billings Mann from Woodstock, a beautiful view from earlier in the season of some nice view of sunset out there so some gorgeous conditions then from a couple of days ago sandy garner sunrise around the area of mcray hill not too sure exactly where that is but thank you very much for a spectacular view uh, into and around the area of mcray's hill there and preston duke from earlier in the month about the first of december Facebook, again, getting a little cranky, sending these things out every once in a while, so I pick them up when I can and display them, if at all possible, from Duke Farm around Collierville. Beautiful view of sunset on the first day of the month, so thank you very much for that one. Got weather pictures you'd like to share? We'd love to share them, but we can't do that unless you know you actually send them in. So if you've got them, post them to these areas here on social media, or just send them to me through my email address at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to have uh, more of those. And, of course, post them on News Channel 3 social media for everybody to see and some great photography out there as well. Don't forget you can catch our complete forecast update available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to get more details while you're on the go. You can also pick up the winter outlook from NOAA in both temperature and precipitation amounts, and that's available. was issued about three weeks ago. If you'd like to read the report, see what NOAA says about the upcoming winter season, if we're going to be above or below normal on temperatures or precip out there, all you have to do is again go to wreg.com slash weather for updates on that. All right, one more check in the forecast. Again, not much to talk about for this morning as things are relatively quiet across the area. Mid 40s into lunchtime, lower 50s briefly for early this afternoon, about the time the kids get out of school. And other than that, looking at some pretty chilly conditions out there in the mornings. But for the rest of the forecast, looking at some pretty mild numbers out there into the next several days. So for right now, looking pretty quiet and stable. Rain by this weekend, very mild for, again, most of the holidays and should be staying mild as we go into the course of the next few days, rounding out the rest of the year, so looking pretty good on that. We'll have updates on the forecast into the weekend coming up in less than an hour on News Channel 3 Live at 9. I'll have updates on the forecast on News Channel 3 at noon, and of course Tim Simpson will have more on your forecast through the evening hours starting on News Channel 3 first at 4 and going into News Channel 3 at 10. And of course I'll be back for the vacationing Todd Demers tomorrow morning, so we'll have your forecast bright and early on Daybreak Friday, so stay tuned for more there. Again, as always, questions, concerns, ideas, comments, anything like that that, send them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, USA, thanks a lot to everybody for joining us for this morning's Weather Overtime video weather blog, and stick around for much more with News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for joining us.